My name is Nidia Supen. I'm from Mexico and I'm a general director for the Center of Life Cycle Assessment and Sustainable Design. So, can you explain what is water footprint? Okay, water footprint means that considering that a product has a life cycle, uh, you focus in the water uh, use and consumption along its life cycle and its impacts. So the footprint means the impact of this water usage along the life cycle of a product with different topics that are important for water such as quality, uh, the amount consumed, where it comes from and the stress of the areas where you take water. Why do we need a global ISO standard for water use? Um, for two reasons. One is uh, water, there are many um, dimensions for water. Uh, so we have a globally consensed um, uh, forum in ISO that can give us all over the world for different users, governments, organizations, academic, a framework on what the important dimensions in this global world are for water. And the second one is because um, there are also now a lot of existing methodologies that uh, need to converge into one so that when we communicate uh, a water footprint to the public we do it in the same uh, fair arena for everyone. Uh, consumers, for organizations measuring it and for governments making decisions based on a, on, on a number or um, a calculation and that these decisions are good for environmental management of water. What is the biggest issue or problem regarding water use in the, in the world today? Oh, there are many. Um, first, uh, I think uh, we have this issue of scarcity in different regions of the world. Then we have the issue of uh, uh, the quality of water, which is also not good in some regions. And, and the other one is, um, and it's related to climate change, uh, that some, some parts of, uh, of the world are facing changes in this hydrological cycle. And so um, it leads to diseases, it leads to problems in health, it leads to problems in availability, and it leads to, um, to many it, it, things that are interconnected. So water is important in our everyday life. Um, and it's also important as a resource. And, and how to manage it efficiently is very important. So, so you think sure. that uh, to a global ISO standards will make life better? It will help uh, to consider this important resource, to manage it from a, 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 an important perspective, which is not causing more environmental impacts. And, 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 and then, of course, if we, if this very important and key resource for our everyday life is um, tackled that way, then our life will be much better because we will have that resource for future and future generations. But what, what are the biggest obstacles to implement the ISO standards on, for, for water use? Well, I, I, I see opportunities more than obstacles. And I see an opportunity to have dialogue with different um, areas of, uh, of knowledge. Uh, this is not only environment, we have hydrology, we have uh, 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 management of water, and so it's important opportunity to have all these knowledge areas to come together. We have uh, different views of what the water sources could be or the water quality could be in different areas of the world. So we have a, an opportunity to bring the world together. And then what we have to come up is with a consensus on how to, um, to do the measurements. That would be a good opportunity to work at.